Time to resurrect this old monster. See, I got these wheels, they fit good, but my quarters are toast. Like this is a facsimile of a quarter panel. It's not an actual quarter panel, it's Bondo. So I'm gonna cut it all out and I have flares and so it was just cheaper for me to buy flares. Or, I mean, use the flares I have and just buy wheel spacers over there. 38 millimeters for the back, a, uh, 15 millimeters for the front. So not severely aggressive on the front, but then again, it's already kind of aggressive fitment on the front. But the back needs a lot more in order to clear the three and a half inch flares. So it hopefully turns out good because it was close to $300 for a couple of quarter panel skins and I mean it's going to need a lot of structural rust welding anyway or rust welding rust repair so I we might as well just do the flares so these are 38 millimeter spacers never try to run two spacers back to back then that's just asking for trouble it's asking for trouble with these as is but um, you bolt them on So you basically you bolt them on, they have their own hub centers and everything, and if they work. Uh, I've had them on my Firebird. I don't recommend them on something that heavy or that powerful, but on a little lightweight Datsun, whatever. It, it should do the trick. And there you have it. Instantly the wheel no longer fits like it should. was a rust free but kind of beat up lip. In the end, this will all be replaced with uh, rivets. Just something quick. Because I don't know if I like screws hanging out that far. Alright, so our craptastic job of putting fender flares on this rusty pile of garbage is complete. I would place the fronts with, with rivets or something. I don't want screws going into the tire but it doesn't rub that was kind of that was hard to set up so it doesn't rub previous owners they left from here all the way up to the very front completely unwelded like, this thing is literally about to fold in half, so I'm trying to prevent that so I can drive it. Don't go inside and eat breakfast <coughs> and leave your battery on the charger and forget to disconnect the booster. This is all melted plastic, I'm not going to touch it. Luckily, we heard the sound when the thing exploded. Ran outside and put the fire out just in time. Now I gotta go get a different battery. Although that's not a usable core. Whew. Lithium ion batteries, they're dangerous.
So I'm taking the alternator off because I keep throwing belts and I've been trying to line up the pulleys. Ironically, I think I'm almost there. I think I'm at the point where a little bit of tweaking and it's gonna be reliable. I just installed these Mercedes 190 front pusher fans on the front of the radiator and duct, well, not even duct tape. It's just a, a packaging tape of some sort. I taped up the holes next to the radiator, which I'm sure contributed to the overheating of this thing. So, long story short, it should, in theory, no longer overheat. That may be wishful thinking, but I don't know. Maybe it'll actually work. Oh, by the way, if you're gonna do this kind of repair, make sure you disconnect the battery. So, a lot of times when people put in these tripod CVs, but they're not really CVs, there's three bearings instead of the usual, you know, plethora. They say to undo this pin, but that's kind of a pain because pin's usually seized, you have to hammer it out. It's a lot easier to just let the diff hang on the mustache bar and undo this side of the control arm. And then you have all the room you need there you go. to place your axles. See? And then you just reattach to this side. There it is. Um, and lastly, you attach the front of the lawn nose R200. This, uh, this is my second R200 in this thing. The first one was destroyed because I uh, errantly, erroneously assumed that the previous owner had put oil in it and they never did. And 10 miles on the road with no oil, I think maybe 20 or 30 actually, completely destroyed the diff. So yeah. Luckily, I drove about nine hours. Somebody had one for $150. That was used off a 280Z. Um, and I snagged it up. It's got a 354, it's an open diff. Nothing crazy, just a little king thing. It's an upgrade from the R180s that's normally in these cars. Um, but yeah. This one, I'm gonna triple check. I'm gonna fill it with fresh oil. I already bought it. And then off we go. Okay, so I found a piece of wire off a hubcap. Hopefully this works.
fix something using garbage found on the road. It's right here. Not so luckily, we don't have any means of uh, putting it back on. Hmm. Hold my light. Oh, that's what's up. seated. I'm going to bump the starter.
that was it. Um, don't forget to let me know in the comments below if you want me to road trip this thing down to California. Race it at the uh, zip tie drags in January. And uh, what you think I should do, stick with this high stall turbo 350 or switch to the four speed I snuggled. Or I uh, snuck through the airport. Let me know. And also, don't forget to click on the link below for the Champion Spark Plugs Challenge. And please vote for me starting January 5th so that I can take first place. And 